Governor Blade had formulated a diabolical plan, a trap to launch a gigantic battle between the Alliance of the Five Kingdoms and pirates from every corner of the world. Quite an ambitious plan. Any of the sailors and pirates who fell in battle would have turned into zombies for his army. His numbers would then drastically multiply. The world would be at the mercy of that bandit. But we didn't know how to explain any of this to the pirates. They would never have believed us. And yet fate would give us a new friend named Zhu and a carefree afternoon where Tracy found herself giving into deep feelings of happiness. Soon the whole world was revealed, and Zhu was the only one who believed it. However, the other pirates were furious, and we found ourselves in deep trouble. I keep searching the Codex for any information it might be able to give us about the zombies, but so far I can't find anything. And I gotta tell you, without my mother's magic, I don't know what else to do. I'm beginning to lose the hope I had left. Don't do it! You're starting to look like Tracy. She's been very upset since Zhu left. Zhu, he wouldn't disobey his father. So now he's still going into battle for the honor of his family. and I'll never see him again. Oh. I'm sorry, but it's pointless for us to stay here anymore. As soon as the others sail away, we'll hop on our ship and sail in the opposite direction. Hey, not so fast! Listen here! Your ship has been recruited for battle by order of the Council of Captains! After a game of dice, it was decided that I would be put in command of it! Any problem with that? Huh? <gasps> Who would I be to disobey a direct order from the Council? Take it, by all means! <laughs> Come on! Yes, please, take it. I'd love to see how you sink it. Now what are we to do? Without the ship, we're stuck here! Long John Silver is never stuck. There are still some ships hidden along the north coast. We'll take one of those. And what do we do about Zhu? Are we going to leave him behind? I don't see any other way around it. We tried to tell the others and they just wouldn't listen. <laughs> Captain Wei Feng, we're so honored that you've come to visit us. Last night, I was deeply conflicted when my son came to your defense. At first, I thought I had to punish him, but then he told me exactly what it was that Tracy had told him. <sighs> Shu is still a sensible young man. He has always displayed great wisdom above all else, and he inherited his mother's gift of seeing people for who they really are. If Shu believes you are telling the truth, then that must mean you really are. Great, Neptune! Finally, someone listens to reason! But just because you're being honest doesn't mean that what you think is true is actually happening. I will listen to you, but very carefully. In that case, Captain Feng, let me tell you about this evil man who has laid out this terrible trap. Hmm. Lord Blade, our allied fleets are on the horizon. Excellent news. My plan is now underway. The Spanish fleet is approaching. Governor Blade is aboard their flagship. Look around, men. We're witnessing something special. Five full navies against the pirates. The Dutch Crown has arrived to answer the call to arms. The Alliance of the Five Kingdoms is ready, as is the Portuguese Empire. Dispatch my orders immediately to the other commanders. Your orders have been carried out, Lord Blade. Well done. Then together, 
We sail on. I don't see Feng or his Chinese flagship at all. Why on earth isn't he out here with us? Does it matter? If he misses out, then that's one less pirate to share the treasure with. I see. Then if what you're saying is true, then everyone is sailing into a terrible disaster. Ah, terrible! Ah, disaster! Ah. Unfortunately, it's true. These monsters won't stop until they destroy everything. I saw them get blasted with cannon fire with my own eyes. And after the smoke cleared, they stood up like it was nothing. Not only that, but every pirate that falls to them gets turned into a zombie that's just like all the others. Blade keeps trying to slay more and more to grow his army's numbers. Please, Captain Fang. Now do you see why we tried to stop you? Hmm. There are many things between heaven and earth that mankind is not able to comprehend, but this goes far beyond any nightmare I could have imagined. Now Blade is about to be on the verge of a massive victory. He's attracted thousands of sailors and pirates. And after they're all through battling each other, he'll exterminate any survivors that are left, and his army of monsters will be complete, each of them ready to go out and conquer the whole world. Then what are we supposed to do? We hop on a ship and set sail to get far away from this disaster. But if the zombie army is going to conquer the whole world, then where can we go to be safe, Long John? Soon, nowhere in the entire ocean will be safe. If we were to try to escape, it would be useless. That's right. We're not going to hide like mice scurrying into the wall. We're going to be tigers. We will fight. The Wei family embraces every challenge with honor. Today, win or lose, we are going to do our duty. I'm with you, father. And I'm with you. Thank you, Captain Feng. Our ship was taken by the others, but we would be honored, sir, if you would allow us to join you aboard your own vessel. No need to be so formal. All of you can follow me to the port. Huh? I humbly ask your forgiveness, Father, but I took the liberty of using my share of the treasure we saved. You used your treasure? But for what? <gasps> it's so beautiful! Ah. It almost ah. looks like the exact same ah. ship as the Albatross, only with more cannons! A racing ship if I've ever seen one! Ah, beauty! It's yours, Tracy! <gasps> It's because I admired your inner strength, your determination and generosity, all while being an example for your little sister. Oh. Oh. <laughs> In the midst of thousands of storms you've crossed, you've been able to keep the hope and dream of a better life alive for everyone around you. For this, I decided to give you this ship, the Yosefa, a word that in Arabic means the storm, because I know that you'll overcome whatever obstacles may come your way. Oh. You've become the lady in charge of the ship. It's what you've always wanted. This is a gift that speaks volumes of you, my son. You've shown that you have a big heart and that it's as beautiful as this young woman. Huh? Huh? Oh? Mm. Mm. Come on, let's get going. You need to climb aboard. And now that you actually own the ship, you're gonna have to hire a captain. Well, Captain Jim Hawkins, I know you're available. Yes, I am, my lady. I find the prospect exciting. I have a great desire to return to a life at sea. Very well, Captain. I offer you the position of command on my ship, the Acepha. Do you accept my offer? Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, this is all very cute. But keep in mind what awaits us. It's possible that today will also be the ship's final voyage. That doesn't matter. We're gonna face it head on. I'm still a Stanton, and just like my father, I'll be ready for anything. Tracy is right. No matter how hard this challenge might be, we'll face it with honor. Keep sailing in this direction until we make it past Jamaica. Then turn 20 degrees northeast. The Dutch reconnaissance ships have told us that they've spotted the enemy fleet in the strait between Cuba and Jamaica. They're on their way to meet us. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. We will face the enemy here. 
The Barracuda Shoals? But sir, that's a dangerous place to do battle. The sea has no depth. There could be as little as 30 feet underneath. Vessels are much larger than theirs. If one of our ships sink, our decks are high enough to keep our guns well above the waterline. Well, their ships would be submerged. Besides, our fleet will be so large in number and so great in firepower, they'll be at the bottom of the ocean in a matter of minutes. Even if they were to somehow escape and manage to make their way to dry land, we could easily find ways to trap and destroy them. That's quite the bold plan, Governor Blade, but there's still a chance we could end up in a trap. Risk that I have carefully taken into consideration. I've decided. And now I must retire to my cabin. I must meditate on the final details of my plan. The Acepa is unbelievable. I've never seen a ship run like this before. Even Ben, when he was alive, had never seen a sailing ship that could move as fast as this one. Stop! Faster! Sailing ship! What? Pirate fleet off the bow on the horizon. Maintain the same route. The pirates know that Blade's fleet will have to move past Cuba before it can get to the Atlantic. They'll probably want to begin the battle with him before any ships can reach the open ocean. And I think I know where Blade will want the battle to take place. Right there. Right in these areas. I'm pretty sure he would want to lure them to a shallow area. Mm-hmm. I think you might be on to something, Long John. Hey! Captain Feng! Pull over! We need a war council! Reduce speed! Let their ship catch up to us! Enemy sails straight ahead! I reckon they must number 50 to 100! We will meet them at the exact location I've chosen. Have the fleet divided into three columns for attack formation. Then we will drive the middle uh -huh. forward. Blade had already spread the rumor that the fleet with the shipment of gold would sail out of Cartagena, and then it would follow its natural route through this pass to come out into the ocean. So that's it. Then he must be planning to attack our fleet from this point, between these three islands. That's exactly what I was thinking too, because look at what's on the map near your finger. The Barracuda Shoals, a place where the water is incredibly shallow. If the two fleets were to fight in the open ocean, then any of the ships that sink will drag thousands of men down with them. But in those shallow waters, that won't happen. Not a single sailor would sink to the bottom. And we don't want that, because that would give Blade a chance to turn all those sailors into zombies. Huh? huh? And we've seen for ourselves that Blade and his zombies keep their fleet of black sails somewhere around this area. You are indeed a great captain, Jim Hawkins. I happen to believe that this is an excellent plan. It will be an honor to fight beside you in battle. Yeah. Uh. Huh. Yes, I'd say that's a good plan for a first-timer. He must have had a really good teacher. Hmm? Huh? Um, Long John, Jojo, will you two go with Fang? Uh, uh, oh, yes, of course. Why don't we help them out? Please be careful, okay? I'm not afraid, but for your sake, I promise. I'll leave you with this poem, so that you can remember me no matter what happens. Hmm. Hmm. What is it? What's it say? Something lovely. <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah! Something lovely! Ah! Enemy fleet approaching! At long last, the tiger can finally see his prey. Tell them the fan out. I want Anchorage on the front line. Spread the word. My old friend, I don't mean to question you, but don't you think the tiger's prey looks a little too easy for him to overpower it? We're not here to be challenged. We came here to conquer. We'll take it all. You'll see. I hope you're correct. Never mind. I'll read it myself. The Black Army is en route to your coordinates. I await your instructions of the time of the attack. I need a pen right now. Arrive two hours after noon. 
Surround the whole area. Don't let anyone escape. Ah. A confidential message, my lord. That message was from my associate. He has confirmed some very important details. Mm hmm. Dispersing. We will not let ourselves be sitting ducks for them. Scatter your ships! to open fire! Our battle formations have fallen apart in the confusion. Our ships are completely surrounded. That's exactly what I wanted. We will let those jackals think they have the upper hand and that's where we'll close in on them with our trap. Send these messages to the north and south columns. Tell them to engage the enemy with all of their ships. But sir, wouldn't it be wise to withhold our reinforcements? We are the reinforcements. We will enter the battle too. The battle has already become something dreadful, just as Blade intended. Maintain this route, but don't get too close to the fight. Keep your eyes to the south. Trust me, that's where the real threat comes from. No! It can't be them now! That Arabic ship, it's almost identical to Silver's old ship, the one that Shadow destroyed. They must be kept out of the fight. They understand everything, and they'll probably know which direction the Black Sails will be coming from. Uh, what is it, Governor? Is there a problem? Those two ships over there. Fire the cannons. Make sure they don't miss. But I don't understand. The battle is here. There are just two uh, ships. Why should we care about them? You dare to question my orders, didn't I tell you? Today is not the day that you take your revenge, human. So it's the truth. Silver is on the ship. If you abandon uh -huh. the battle, I'll make sure you perish like all the others. I could always use your assassin and have him uh -huh. control my army. The decision is up to you. Uh -huh. My lord, are you uh -huh. well? Hmm. It'll be okay. Now's our chance. Let's sail forward into the battle. All ships advance. I can see them! Black sails on the horizon! Coming from the southwest! Here come those foul monsters! Get ready! Hmm? Silver and Hawkins. I have them now for sure. I have ten ships follow me. The rest of you, onward! Forward into battle! Are you ready? Mm -hmm. The cannons are loaded, Captain. You just give the orders and leave the rest to me and the crew. Tracy, stay on course. Into the battle! As you wish, Captain. Fire the rockets! <laughs> 
Tracy, into that gap, quickly! Concentrate on clearing that gap. Fire! Hurry up, load another volley. Fire! Reload the rockets and cannons. Reload the cannons and unfurl all of the sails. Full speed ahead. And now they've arrived. Huh? Where did those black sails come from? But what are they? Who are they? They're coming aboard. Weapons are ready. The bullets didn't do anything! Impossible! Oh. So it was true! It was just like those children from Tortuga said! It's a terrible trap and we've been the real fools all along! Where are these monsters? Where did they come from? The black sails are also at my command, you see. But all you need to know is that you're our prey. Avast! Governor Blade is a traitor! Shoot him now! Uh, I quite like this uniform. And you oh. ruined it! Uh, 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 ha, ha. It's no good, sir! We've lost use of the rudder! Oh, oh. Oh, then we're stuck here. They're going to try and finish us off. Reload the cannons. We'll draw their attention and defend ourselves till our last breath. They've surrounded Captain Fang's ship and blocked him off. We have to save them. Keep us on this course. Long John, prepare for a topside recovery. As you command, Captain. Whenever you're ready. What does that mean? Keep us en route, Miss Stanton. Let us handle this. This is going to be very difficult, my son. So I need you to listen carefully. The lives of the men in this crew are almost finished. But you... Huh? You represent the blood of our family. So you must keep living. This is where my journey comes to an end. But yours will go on. It simply must. Father, no. I'm going to stay by your side, no matter what happens. Bonja, now! Oh. No! Don't take me! Father! Oh, oh, please, let me go back! I told him I'd stay by his side! No! Your father made me promise to only save you, and I'm going to keep that promise. Huh? I didn't know that, Chu. I'm so sorry. Get us out of here! Hurry! All of the explosives on that ship are about to go off. May their sacrifice not be in vain. My brothers, we cannot stop them, but we will delay them from reaching any one of the others for as long as we can. Now's our chance! For the honor of the Wei Dynasty! To the end! Ah! So you win again, and we barely escaped with our lives. But at the end of all this, when it's between us and you, we will defeat you!
the pyro.